Okay, uh, this is the outline of my presentation. Uh, my presentation is, uh, and it will cover what is PD in the ELD context and why do we teachers need PD? And I will tell you the activities and the forms of PD. And I will introduce you some PD models. After that, I will introduce you one teacher framework. And then finally, my topic, how to develop a uh, personal professional development plan. Okay, now me and go to my very first slide, in the second slide. Okay, if somebody say, what is professional development? Uh, you may have definition, but we are not happy with our definition exactly. Because PD, professional development in different professions has different meanings. Now, I would like to focus on what is PD in the ENT index, the ENT context. Okay. Uh, Okay, when a PD is an ongo ongoing process, you assess and you re examine your teaching belief in your teaching practice by Alice Murray 2010. Here, the keyword is assess and re examine. We have to assess, we have to re examine, we have to reflect ourselves uh, what, what kind of, uh, what things we believe and what, what, thing we, what things we practice. Uh, second definition. Ah uh, yeah, PD, we do PD to maintain the interest to deliver the enthusiasm of teachers in their profession. Sometimes only uh, I feel tired at the second of my teaching career, teaching part, because I need new things, new things. That, sometimes I'm interested in my own. So, so as to maintain the, the interest, so as to be creative, we need to do PD. This is Jesse Richard 2015. Okay, my the last definition. We do PD to improve our job performance, to extend the experiences for career development, to promote, uh, to promote job satisfaction, to prepare for change, to understand the education policy. Here, I intentionally highlight prepare for change because you know, I would like to relate with the present situation. You know, the next time our theme of the this, uh, conference is uh, COVID uh, during and post COVID. Uh, because of pandemic, this uh, pandemic era, everything has changed. Uh, the way the uh, the uh, uh, teaching learning process has changed. Uh, the way the students learn has changed. So the way we teach, uh, the, the way we teach, max change. Uh, in order to change effectively, we need to uh, we need to uh, we need to learn and we need to cope with the changes. Okay, this is the definition of BD in the ELD context. <clears throat> okay, why do we need PD? Okay, why do there, there's a I want to say one uh, theory, uh, the teaching uh, teach yeah career stages and development in need. Yeah, here uh, there are three columns here. Uh, uh, Take stage name and you also experience in deployment and theory, theory needs. Uh, the very first one is called pre suffix pre suffix means you have no experience at all. In that stage, you need training and preparation for teaching. You, you, you just receive the training. The after pre suffix you have got one, one or two year experience. This stage, this stage is called permitted. In that stage, you straw, uh, this is survival stage. You just try to survive. Uh, you just try to fulfill the daily and uh, daily needs, and uh, after that we call the feeding stage. Uh, when you when you become uh, when you have experience of three or five years, this feeding stage, and uh, you in that stage you are trying professionally. You would like to develop professionally. You would like to earn scholarship or something like that because you are not happy with your situation. After that, uh, only we can uh, experience our five to eight years. This is called striving. In that stage, you be confident and you be better understand of your situation and you, you have the overall view of what is happening around you. But uh, after that, um, when you have more experience of, uh, experience of, 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 experience of eight years, uh, you, you go to the classic stage. In that stage, this problem. In that stage, you need to seek professional development. You, you, you need a, a opportunities for professional growth and high job satisfaction. Otherwise, 
So you are going to get an economic sanction. It vary. The, the, uh, the years of experiment may vary uh, in the uh, theory in that stage because ban off. Our projects carry out one storm. Uh, yes, uh, in the second column, year of experience varies. Individual is actually the individual. Our project carrier exit because uh, get by and just on a window match. They are just trying to re retire. Uh, if you retire, okay. For me, personally, I am at the classic stage. Dichemi, where are you now? I I am here. Yeah, uh, in this uh, uh, in this career stages, where are you now? Where am I now? Uh, I am moving to and through. Sometimes I'm still, I feel that I'm still striving and I'm trying to be building. Well, 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 okay. So my, my status is not stable. Oh, yes. Uh, because you, you have many, many, uh, how much experience and you are experienced more than eight years. That's why sometimes uh, you will be happy, you have a uh, high job satisfaction, sometimes you may not. But uh, what I would like to point out here is that you are experienced teacher, but in order to be happy in your career, but you need to do professional development. Otherwise, your innovation will be low and you will, uh, honestly, you will not be creative and you will not be happy. That's why we need to do professional development. This is according to Zebra 2013. For me, uh, I'm also at the classic. I, I think uh, I'm the same with teacher. Sometimes I think I'm the uh, building stage, and sometimes I think I'm a classic stage. That's that's why I would like to be happy at my job, and that's why I'm now looking for. I'm striving for the opportunities for my professional professional development. Okay, uh, may I go to the next slide? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Yes, and forms of activity, forms of BD, activities of BD. If I say BD, we can, you can do BD in many, many forms, but basically, uh, BD, has, uh, BD can be done individually and BD can be done uh, collaboratively. Uh, collaboratively, there's only two ways, uh, uh, individual BD and collaborative BD. With regards to individual BD, uh, I mentioned, I suggest only two points here. Okay, uh, the first one is, uh, share the, uh, to keep a teaching journey. In that journey, you write uh, what is successful in your teaching, uh, what is successful. If it is successful, you are trying to improve how um, to be more successful. If somebody feels it doesn't happen, it didn't, it didn't happen according to your plan, how will you change in the future? Okay, second thing is uh, how, uh, uh, you have to analyze a critical, critical incident. A critical incident is an incident or an event that changed the way you think, the way you teach, the way you believe. Uh, now, uh, collaborative, uh, in collaborative BD, uh, we can share the journeys. We can share the journeys with the real, with the senior teachers, with the junior teachers, and in that journal, we suggest each other does it have very successful, does not successful. Uh, after that, <clears throat> we can do the peer mentoring and peer coaching. Uh, being mentor, uh, mentoring and coaching is not the same here. In mentoring, uh, no big teacher and experienced teacher used to pair together. But in coaching, nobody is smart. For teacher cycle, uh, okay, the teacher cycle and <clears throat> the teachers, teacher cycle are uh, uh, usually there are three to fifteen teachers from uh, the same region, uh, learning together while sharing the common goals. Uh, teacher support network. Actually, uh, teacher support network. Uh, you you have a connection, or you learn to gather teachers from different areas. Uh, meetings and conferences are informal, and uh, meetings are whole alternatively. Or uh, they take the uh, they take the diff, uh, teachers take the facilitator role or ten and ten. Um, finally, we do. Council of PD is to, uh, to join the local or international teacher association like the MNDSO or conference or workshop. By doing this, you can improve your PD. Uh, may I go to the next slide? Okay, three models of PD. <clears throat> the very first model is called top down model. Uh, in that model, uh, <clears throat> 
teacher professional diploma is provided by an institution or regulatory body. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it focus on the meeting the needs of the institution only. It's as it suggested in the, uh, in the like top down, it only focus on the, the principle of the rules of the uh, institution. It used to neglect the need, the, the actual needs of the teachers. After that, we proposed um, bottom F and bottom F model. Uh, this in this model, uh, this is called the right and guided uh, teacher. Teacher needs uh, how do I say it? Teacher, needs, teacher is accountable for his development. He is uh, hundred percent accountable for his own development. But the challenge of this model is uh, in this model, this model works only with the highly motivated teachers. Because you know he has to design himself, he has to analyze by himself. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, that's why uh, scholar likes the that when tough model, interactive model. In this model, they said this model, this suggests this model is the most effective because in this model, uh, the harmonious combination of institution goal and personal goals. That's why this model seems the most effective. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go to the next slide. Uh, I would like to introduce to you one teaching uh, teacher frame, one framework. Uh, this the name of the fr this framework is called CITA. CITA, CITA means Saudi Asia Teachers Community Framework. This framework is developed by the high key official from Saudi Asia countries for Saudi Asia teachers. We remember belongs to South Asia. That's why this framework it makes much to do with X. Uh, we need to how do I say uh, we uh, we need to keep extra we need to keep extra with this framework and this framework identifying four main competency. Four main competency. The first one is um know and understand what I teach. Uh, your subject knowledge. Uh, I think you have a pedagogical knowledge. <clears throat> have my have your student learn, have my student learn. The third one is to become a better teacher every day. It's very, very important. And <clears throat> the poor one is to communicate, uh, um, to engage with the community. Uh, actually, this only four main competency. And if you want to study detail about this framework, uh, you can, I'm gonna say, uh, you can search in the internet, or you can just type a CTAP and you can download free. Uh, I would like to, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, I would like to inform you, inform you something. Uh, in Myanmar, uh, and I think uh, Nima, uh, higher edu uh, basic education has already launched a framework uh, we call PCSF, Teacher Com Competency Standard Framework for their uh, <coughs> high school, uh, basic, in, in basic education. After basic education, uh, after basic education, there will be a framework for high school teachers, uh, a second uh, higher education. After that, there will be private sector. That's why we need to. I'm gonna say uh, we need to be informative and we need to uh, adjust. We need to do professional development. CTEP also provide you uh, learning options. Uh, here, uh, there are three learning options. You can learn. Uh, you can do learning on the job, and you can do learning from others. You can learn from others. You can do the structured structure learning. Structure learning. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I personally I think uh, these learning options are more or like the same with uh, P, uh, PD forms. Uh, that's why uh, <clears throat> these competency these, uh, learning options are developed by CDEP. Actually, there's one more uh, checklist for how much you are uh, you are competent. How much uh, how much how much competent you are with regards to the CTEP, You can you get, um, you can measure finance in the CTEP as well. Uh, these are the learning options. In the learning option, uh, learning on the job, you can take uh, assignment in the comedy work for membership in the project things. You can do the coaching and you can do the uh, learning through the experimentation. You can <clears throat> uh, you can receive coaching and you can do you can observing and taking notes to other teachers who are successful in their job you can membership in professional organizations you can ask questions discussions something like this this is structure learning taking uh, training section right uh, academic study okay i'm sorry for taking your time uh, 
Now I discuss uh, uh, I discuss what is PD in ERD context, uh, PD model, PD forms, see uh, when teaching each other computer uh, when framework. Now it's time for you to develop one yourself. As uh, for, for example, uh, in what year? Okay, suppose here in 2020, 2021, what competency in the first column, what competency do you need? Uh, suppose uh, to become a better teacher every day. Uh, sub descriptor, uh, sub scale. Okay, what kind of scale do you need to become a better teacher? I'm not professional, I'm not very uh, in touch with ID, that's why I need ID skill to keep uh, abstract with there, keep abstract with the changes. Uh, uh, sorry for spelling mistake. This is the draft only. My final one is you cannot open. Uh, okay. In order to be, uh, in order to uh, to prove it, this competency, what kind of learning option will you choose? I choose learning from others. I would because in my workplace, in my um, some of my colleagues are very good at in IT. That's why I can learn from them. We can do the peer learning. Okay. What time frame? How much uh, do you need for for one month or two months? Something like it. Uh, progress uh, in, in there uh, I can do the present uh, I can I can prepare for presentation slide or something. In this way you can develop your own uh, professional development, personal professional development plan. Uh, you, your plan might maybe for large scale or the small scale, any harm, you can start preparing by keeping the theories uh, and methodology in mind, you can develop your own one. And it's already eight. Uh, that's at the end of my presentation and questions are waiting. Okay, now the floor is open for questions and answers and comments. So if anyone would like to ask questions, you can unmute yourself and you can ask questions. And so far in the chat box, I haven't seen any questions. It's, it means they are following and they are trying to take in, they are absorbing everything you have said. They are saying thank you, but no questions yet. There are no questions yet. So I would like to have a question for you. It's really not only for you, for everyone. Um, this professional development, uh, is it something very new? Is it a very new concept for us? Or is it something uh, brought from the, from the West? Is it a Western idea? Or is it something possible that we can implement in our country? Uh, what do you want? Uh, what, what do you have in mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go in mental. Thank you very much, Chair, for your questions. Yeah, actually, in my presentation, I also mentioned uh, Nima also has already launched, already developed one teaching competency framework by uh, by ourselves for yes. their uh, basic education teachers. Now, after basic, well, actually, this plan uh, has already launched in two thousand twenty, October fifteen, and. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we are successful in doing this, uh, we will also move to the higher education. After that, we will go to the private sector. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I know this is the global practice, yes. uh, but we have the look and need. Uh, mm -hmm. Look and need. That, that's why we need to be. We need to go uh, global. Global. Yes. Uh, global practice flex. Uh, look at uh, global theories. Uh, look and needs. We, we need to combine and we need to think of our situation. Uh, situation. Just. Yeah, that, that's what I think. Yeah. So in the TCS, because I I know that the document and I have read it, yeah. uh, because talking about this digital learning, I didn't see any competency for the, the ability to be able to use the digital skills in teaching. So what I think is, if we are go, if we had a chance, I think we better put in or add in one more competency there, one more strand to be able to use modern technology, at least for online teaching for all the teachers. I think they should be uh, mentioned in the TCSF. Actually, uh, uh, TCSF, they, I, I think they have a, a competency um, that um, is not officially, yeah, uh, it's not, uh, Officially published in the, yet, and uh, it will uh, soon out and we will give it as and we will discuss it later. 
Uh, this is just uh, how can I say? Just we are just trying to develop and <clears throat> yeah. One thing you have already suggested, also do we need to consider? Okay. Yes. Okay. Now here is a question. It's a very good one. For collaborative from teacher ATP, for collaborative professional development program, we need to develop professional learning environment at our workplace. May I know your opinion and suggestions on developing such program during the pandemic? Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you want me to? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Teacher ATP, for your questions. Uh, exactly. Uh, we need a professional learning community. Uh, I introduced uh, three models. Top down, bottom up, and interactive model. Uh, scholar suggest scholar recommend interactive model. But you know, uh, we, we need to we need to be dependent. We need to guide our professional development by ourselves first. Uh, we need to forget about the institution regular the regulatory body. So in order to do the uh, in order to do professional development by ourselves, uh, we need to I'm gonna say uh, we need to gather, we need to collect, and we need to make. Uh, Make cycle of like-minded friends like teacher AGQ and I and then okay let's let's develop our own professional development plan by ourselves. Then we can extend and we can discuss later. It's a very good idea, teacher. We can do professional development by ourselves by setting goals together collaboratively. Yes. In a way, yeah. You know what we need to build up this learning community. So learning yeah. age, learning community. Thank you very I much. Mean, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes, here one Maybe more question. Yes, yeah, please, yes, please, yeah, please carry on, sir. Uh, yeah, that's okay. The second question. Here is uh, another question from Tinsha Wawame. How could you assess the improvement of the professional development plan? Interesting. Yeah, we have the, whenever you set a goal, uh, there's a theory to measure how how much successful you are in that goal setting. And so well, I would like to introduce to you one thing. Uh, how about smart goal? S M E R T. The smart goal. In smart by using the smart goal, you can make, you can know how much how much successful in your uh, in your work or in your professional development. Uh, S M E R T. Smart. But you must be specific, measurable, attainable, time bound, and edit. And here, one more question coming up. Actually, two more. One is, I would like to know your own personal opinion. To what extent do you think TCSF and similar framework can be a motivation drive for the teaching staff members? It's from teacher Dr. So to what extent do you think TCSF and similar framework can be a motivation drive for the teachers? Exactly. Uh, previously, we are just trying and we don't know the measurement. But now, there's a TC, TCSF and TCFS framework and descriptors exactly by trying to fulfill the need of TCSF. Uh, uh, we, need to, uh, we, need, we need to try uh, to in, in line with the TCFS. By trying so, uh, by trying so, we are, we are, I think we will also improve. We, actually, I'm sorry, I cannot tell you exact percentage. The bed, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's to your dad, it's a motivation to try for X, for me. Yes. I also hope it's okay. also up to a motivation to try. And then this should be the last question. What is the difference between personal development and professional development? And what are the extern external factors and internal factors for BD? And this is from teacher to Ah uh, Yes, you're welcome. Personal development belongs to professional development. If you are doing your personal development, it's automatically you're doing professional development. But every personal development is not a professional development. Suppose uh, personal development means, uh, I'm going to say, uh, in academic setting, this is professional development. But in other settings, like you would like to successful in your job, in your family affairs, or with your friends, a good relationship with your friends, and this is not. Be professional development. This is your personal development. But you are in but in professional development is much to do with academic setting. Uh, I'm sorry for I'm talking the second question too. Uh, what is the next one? External federal and 
Yeah. What are the external factors and internal factors of BT? Now, as far as my knowledge is concerned, I think internal factor is you do BT individually. You can, I mentioned two factors, for example, the reflective teaching and, sorry, uh, analyze critical and see them and you, you, uh, you keep a journey. This is called internal factor. You do by yourself. But sometimes so if somebody posts you to do, you do because of external drive, this is the external factor. Suppose some, in some cases, uh, organization when uh, your organization wants you to join their I mean it's, it's uh, training or workshop this is called ex external factor and uh, this is my my opinion teacher thank you very much Saya, and thank you very much everyone in the audience thank you very much for your presentation and which is very very uh, realistic and practical for all of us which is theoretical but at the same time applicable for all of us and very useful for us and thank you very much for the questions to the audience i think we better stop the meeting for this session now we better join the other session so thank you so so much to all of you may i may we end the meeting for all may we leave the meeting now Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Sarah. Thank you, Sarah.